Police in Leander say they are saving thousands of dollars in fuel costs after installing a small device that changes the way gasoline burns in their patrol vehicles. A pilot project began about a year and a half ago, and as I found out today, newly released data are so encouraging the department has plans to expand the program. The need to innovate started with a little budget crisis at Leander PD. It happened to us a few years ago. We started getting a pinch. We were like getting down to the end of the budget year. And starting to run out of gas money. Today, one solution is tucked under the hood of this police Chevy Tahoe. We believe, yeah, it's, it's saving us, uh, we've estimated close to about $10,000. That's significant in a $130,000 fuel budget, money that can be put to other uses like training or new equipment. So what is this metal tube? The fuel ecosystem is a $400 cylinder filled with a copper mesh filter attached to the vehicle's fuel line. It's supposed to agitate the fuel so it combusts more completely. In March of 2012, Leander PD first installed the devices in six vehicles. They liked the results so much, soon they put them in more. Right now they're in 14 with plans to install the devices in more this fall. From a miles per gallon perspective, the police department's average fuel economy went from 7.9 MPG to 8.8 MPG. That's more than a 12% average improvement. We first met the man who distributes the devices back in 2005. That's when a KXAN vehicle was outfitted with the fuel ecosystem. In a short city drive, our own testing did show some decrease in carbon monoxide output. Today, he told us Americans can be slow to adapt to change. Why isn't there a critical mass on that? I think it has a lot to do with skepticism. Uh, other products that, like you mentioned, does not work. And if one doesn't work, then probably none of them work. And that's what I've come across. But one local police department, it seems, is a happy customer. It's whatever we can do to save some money. 2.316 valve, 2009 Ford Ranger pickup. that was hooked up to the injection rail right there. Right. We just take that quick disconnect tool, pop it off of there, and we put it right here. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. We pop it off of there, we take the fuel line, hook it up to our unit, put the safety clip back on, and we take our unit, comes in, it's got the uh, uh, quick disconnect up here, and it just hooks onto there. Nice. If you ever want to remove that one, it's got a little white tab on there. Okay. You just press that white tab in, and it releases it to where you can pull it up. Okay. You need the tool for that. Alright. And this is part of the original fuel line right there? So we've got the glove box, so that's part of the original. No, this is mine. Oh, okay. It's our okay. quick disconnect tool. But I'm going to get one more tie strap and put it there. I, I dropped one a while ago, I think. Yeah, here's one. Sixteen valve, two thousand nine Ford Ranger pickup. Now the neat thing about these units, rough. Say this one hits one hundred and sixty thousand miles, you want to get rid of it? Come in, disconnect it, put your fuel line right back on where it was, put your safety clip back on, 
take that unit, move it on to another Ford. Right. It can go on a Toyota, it can go on a Nissan, anything that's 516. If for any reason you say, hey, uh, we're going away from the Fords, we're going to uh, Chevrolet, you know, a little Chevy vehicle, whatever, it's got a 3H quick disconnect, you keep the same unit, you just buy the different kit. That's a 3H, so you don't pay 39 bucks for a kit, you don't need a whole new unit. Those units 